In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. Tripitaka, Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy were on a westward pilgrimage from China to India in search of the sacred scrolls of wisdom. One bright morning, they came to the banks of a deep and fast-flowing river that was so wide they could not see the other side. At the river's edge, there was a message carved into a stone. <gasps> What's it say? Misty Torrent River. Well, isn't that a poetic name? Come on, Pigsy, what does the rest say? This river is too dangerous to be crossed. We have no choice, we must find a way to cross. I don't think we should. Master, let's walk along the banks. Maybe we'll find help. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> I'll be the Iron Catfish, so you have to run away from me. That game of cat! Ah! Ah! I'm the Iron Catfish! Da, 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 da. You can't get away from me! Oh, well, someone's having a good time. Oh, look at the pig! Oh, no, stop it! No, stop it! I can't take it! You there! Get away from my children! Uh, oh, Daddy, Daddy Mama! Mama. Well, hello! <laughs> What'd you bring me? Pardon our intrusion, but we meant no harm. We're pilgrims on a journey to the West in search of the Books of Wisdom. Ah, then you are welcome here. We thank you for your hospitality. You must forgive me. But there is much fear in our little village. Take the children inside, please. They shouldn't even be in the yard. Here. You must be thirsty. Thank you. And now, tell me, what is it that you are so afraid of? For a long time now, the people who make their homes by the river have been living in terror of a creature known as the Iron Catfish. But who is this creature? He's a magical fish from the river. He can change shape, and if he finds a child anywhere, he'll turn it into a fish. A crime of great viciousness. I say we put a stop to this right now. Yes, though you'll need to be careful. He sounds dangerous. But Pigsy will help me out, won't you? Do you have a plan? Sure, we'll be disguised as these kids. And you'll see, we'll be irresistibly cute. I get it, we'll trick the catfish and send them packing. I want to be the boy. Uh-uh, I'm the boy. All right, I'll be the girl, but I'd better not catch any teasing for Change. this. Change! Wait, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> I hope you made me cute enough. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I think Pigsy needs a little help. <laughs> Poor girl. I'll fix you right up. Hold still. This won't do. Hmm. <laughs> one down, one to go. Huh? And change! <laughs> as soon as night fell, Monkey and Pigsy went to the riverbank and waited in disguise for the iron catfish to appear, though they hardly knew what to expect. Did you hear something? I'm hungry and sleepy. Good night. <sighs> but suddenly, just a few minutes later... <gasps> oh. Uh oh! You're not the famous iron catfish, are you? What do you think? Our daddy and mummy told us to stay away from you. Is that so? Then what brings you out here? We came out here so we could capture you. Huh? Then we'll be heroes, so you better just come along with us. 
So, you've come to capture me! You have to surrender to me! Surrender to a boy? I don't think so! <laughs> oh, monkey, I think it's time! Change! Huh? Well, looky here! <laughs> 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 oh, stay still! See how you like this! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Do you think you can defeat me with that? Well, let's see! As they were ready to set out the next day, the pilgrim saw that the iron catfish had frozen the river. I'll go and test the ice and see if it's safe for us to cross. That'd solve our problem. Be careful, monkey. If you want a true test, maybe I'd better try it. <laughs> Feels pretty solid, all right. Oh, yes, we can cross here. <laughs> Couldn't break it if I tried, see? Oh, it's safe. <laughs> Come on, you two. The ice is fine. Well, then, shall we be going, Sandy? It looked like the problem of how to cross the river had been solved. We'll be over in no time. <laughs> Under the ice, however, the iron catfish was tracking the pilgrims every step. That's it, you trusting fools. It won't be long. You just keep right on going. Yeah, right into the trap. You know, all this ice is making me think of frosty desserts and icing on cakes. Attack! Oh! Uh, master! Where's the master? The catfish grabbed him and took him into an underground cave. But what caused the ice to just cave in that way? The catfish set a trap. We've got to go and get the master out of there. Come on. <gasps> Wait here while I have a look inside the cave. Uh, I've got some fish cakes here. I'm taking them to the boss. Dear husband, this is a very great thing you've done. Catching a monk is no easy feat. I think this calls for a celebration. Oh, great Iron Master! Mm -hmm. I've brought you some wonderful fish cakes. Oh, yeah? I hope you like them. If you're hungry, these should hit the spot, sir. Say, how come I've never seen you here? I'm new around here, Master. I just started the day before yesterday. I've heard that voice before. I know. Oh, where? It's that monkey I was telling you about. Show yourself. Let's see you get away from me this time. Uh, no, no, he got away again. So? Huh? The master's there, but I can't get to him. How about you wait here in case that repulsive fish comes back and Sandy and I will see what we can do. What do you want? Let my master go. Oh, you've come to tell me how to run my river. I'm not telling you. It's an order. <laughs> While Pigsy fought the iron catfish, Sandy dealt with his bad-tempered wife. Fortunately, she tired easily. Try as he might, Pigsy seemed unable to defeat the iron catfish. Go on, hit me! <laughs> How do you like that armor of mine? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, so he's changed his shape. <laughs> now that the iron catfish had changed his shape, it seemed he really was invincible. His wife also seemed unbeatable. <laughs> Sandy knew he had to come to Pigsy's rescue before it was too late. Realizing that the Iron Catfish had won this battle, Pigsy and Sandy made good their escape. Husband! Let them go! They won't be back! <gasps> Pigsy and Sandy swam for the top, uh -huh. but as far as Monkey was concerned, it was the Iron Catfish surfacing. Oh, wait! It's just us! <sighs> good thing you stopped me! <sighs> 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 So? What happened down there? We really tried. The catfish was too fierce for us. But we can't just leave the master. Our only chance will be to trick the fish somehow. But for the life of me, I can't think of a way. 
We could really use some help. Hey, look at that! It was a crane with a basket in its beak. Monkey, I send this to you and your companions. It is all you will need to defeat the Iron Catfish. Thank you, Quan Yin. Don't know how it works, but I can't wait to try it out. Here I go. Good luck, Monkey. The instant Monkey hit the water, the basket took on a life of its oh. own. Monkey watched as Quan Yin's gift pulled in its first victim. Stirring up trouble in my home again, are you? I know, I hate to do this, but you started it. No one can make me release that monk, least of all you. Well, my patroness Quan Yin may have something to say about that. Uh, Don't believe me? Watch! Afraid to fight? Uh, that's it! Run, you coward! <laughs> Off to the celestial realm flew the iron catfish. Quan Yin will make sure he learns how to behave. Hey, where's that noise coming from? Is this a friend of yours? Master! Safe at last. The great turtle had lived in peace in his cave under the river for many years. But then the iron catfish came. I lived in fear until your coming put an end to that. I'm glad. As for us, we still must find a way to cross this river. I would be more than happy to help you. With the iron catfish gone, the misty torrent river was now safe. The four companions were taken across the river to continue on their journey to the west. Tripitaka and his companions were continuing their quest for the Books of Wisdom. They had entered the desolate and inhospitable Stone Valley in the territory of the evil Jade Witch, and their movements were being watched closely. Someone approaches your majesty. Is it a friend or a foe, I wonder? Hail! Ah, what news have you? We have seen the monk Tripitaka coming this way. But he's not traveling alone. Who is with him, then? There are three others. This seems to frighten you. One of them's the monkey. I see. Is he so fearsome? Beware the monkey! Monkey or not, I shall capture Tripitaka. There's nobody up here but us, Pigsy. I thought it would be fun to hear what my echo sounded like. Isn't this the dreaded Stone Valley? It is indeed Stone Valley, a barren place where no living thing grows. Monkey, you must go and find us some food, for there is nothing to eat here. <laughs> we'll sit right here and wait till you get back. There is another valley on the other side of this mountain where you should find fruits and berries. And stuff your pockets while you're there, because I'm so hungry I could eat a yak. I'd need bottomless pockets to feed you, Pigsy. Well, I'm off, Master. <laughs> now to disguise myself and strike! <laughs> yeah, strike, oh fearsome queen! <laughs> Something sure smells good. I'm going to visit some monks who live nearby and give them this basket of food as alms. Well, I'm a pilgrim, which is the next best thing to a monk, so you can give it to the me. The next best thing is not good enough. I need a real monk. Oh, well, my master is a real monk. Then I shall feed him, and you may have anything that's left over. <gasps> master! Huh? Oh, look who's here. This young lady wants to feed you. <laughs> it's our lucky day. You are very kind, miss, but we are well provided for. <laughs> I think it's very rude to refuse when she's come such a long way. It's true. I have 
please accept this basket of food from a poor uh, girl? Don't take it! <gasps> Witch! <gasps> what is this foolishness? Leave the girl be, monkey. Where did you get such a wild idea? Yeah, well, someone turns up with a food basket, you don't call her a witch. She is a witch. I can see her true form. But please protect me, kind pig. This girl is no witch. Can you not smell the evil on her breath? I smell flowers. Can you not see her evil face under this false one? I see a beautiful mountain girl. But, but... Monkey, you are wrong. Uh, what will he do? There's nothing so long as I'm here. If that monkey thinks he can get the better of me, then he's mistaken. I don't understand. Why do you have to make her disappear? I'm starving. Look, her food basket is still here. Go on, look at what's inside. What's the big deal? It's food! I'd advise you to think again, Pigsy. Huh? Maybe she was a witch. Maybe Monkey turned the food into frog so you wouldn't punish him. Why would I do that? He disobeyed you. He's out of control. Then he shall be punished. Tighten Monkey's headband, oh goddess. It's over now. Calm yourself. Please, Master, no more. You must learn to control your temper. Fool will not escape from me a second time. What will you do, our great and evil queen? You will see. None of them will dare attack a poor old woman. Bring that trippy taka! Oh, oh, my beloved daughter's gone. A wicked monkey did away with her. Poor old lady, how are we going to explain? Hold on, let me handle this, Pigsy. Huh? Uh, how old are you? Uh, I've seen 80 winters. Then how could you be the mother of such a young daughter? Uh, I'm its granddaughter. And how do you know uh, what I did since you weren't around when it happened? Uh, uh, <sighs> <sighs> Monkey, once again you have behaved shamefully towards an innocent person. Will you never learn? Uh, but Master... Your arrogance is so great that it has clouded your powers of reason. Be gone from my sight. <laughs> All right, then. You must remove this headband. Huh? I cannot. And why not? You know very well why. Our patron goddess, Quan Yin, gave it to you to wear so that when you were being disobedient, I could pronounce the spell and tighten it until you promised to behave yourself. If you no longer want me around, then you should take it off. The goddess has put it there, so I cannot remove it. That must mean she wants me to stay with you. Very well, then. So be it. You cursed fool! Why? Why don't you send the goblins to lure the monkey away? That might just work. Can you do it? Yes, a mighty queen! Then be off! The monk shall be mine! Huh? Yeah. Wait! Huh? Oh no, what now? Another witch monkey? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I just thought it was time to get us some food. <laughs> At last, the monkey is out of my way. Now's my chance. Let us put on our disguises quickly. Our prey awaits us. <laughs> and as for you two, let us bring back a couple of old friends, shall we? And now, for myself, the most cunning of all. <laughs> Let me be enrobed in celestial glory! <laughs> no! I'm starved. Sure hope Monkey brings us back a real feast. Oh, you there, pilgrims! I wonder who this is. I come as a messenger from a nearby temple whose great teacher, the Bodhisattva, wishes to speak with you, and she will not take no for an answer. Do you hear me? 
but I... No, don't even bother protesting or making excuses. For when the Holy One calls, you dare not refuse. Why would we? There'll be food. Do not fear. I will gladly come. I am old, and the walk is long. If you let me ride your horse there, I'll happily share this fruit with you. By all means, take the horse and we shall follow. As the evil witch lured Monkey's gullible companions away, Monkey was forced to do battle with the witch's pesky minions. We're almost there. It's not much further. It's remarkable. I thought Stone Valley was a barren place, but the countryside around the temple is so lush. Here it is. The Bodhisattva awaits you in the temple. May I be worthy of this most sacred place. <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hey, I know what they're doing. This is a plan to lure me away from my friends. Welcome, pilgrims. I'm glad you have come. I have something to show you. Huh? The, the women, women monkey said were witches! That is correct, but they are not witches. Your companion, the monkey, was attempting to deceive you. But why would he wish to deceive us? He has not the heart of a true pilgrim. You should banish that evil, prancing little creature from your sight forever! <laughs> <laughs> Why have you shut the door, old man? So that you're not disturbed. <laughs> Monkey, this is a sacred place. Behave yourself. Of course. I know where I am. <laughs> Monkey, what are you doing? Hurry, tighten his headband before he does any more damage! Goddess, commence the spell. No! Be gone, you evil sorceress! <laughs> Now you can see the place for what it is. Not a temple, but a witch's fortress. Thanks to Monkey, the Jade Witch had been defeated, and the travelers could continue their quest.